my name is Sean Hack. Welcome back to another MRE review. Today I will be reviewing this 2020 uh, Halal MRE uh, for the United States of America. It's a 2020 packed by Sopaco, home South, South Carolina. Um, I've, I've had uh, Halal meals before and I think they're a relatively uh, well put together meal. Um, so I'm kind of excited to get into this, especially since it's uh, cherry rolled oats with almond flavor. Um, I really like breakfast menus. I think they're kind of really unique sometimes. Now they can get a little um, repetitive, like with oats and stuff like that. But for a survival situation, um, it's kind of what you get. There is a whole load of ingredients on this, but let's kind of get this opened up here. First off, we have our cherry rolled oats with almond flavor. Cardboard slip. Ooh, we got banana pudding. Got lemon lime. I was actually, was really funny is I was looking at something on Facebook Marketplace and it was just a lot of like MRE components. And one of the beverage bases on there was lemon lime. And I was like, hmm, I bet uh, I'll probably have a lemon lime today. And look at that. I had a good guess. But it almost looks like it was punctured. Oh, it definitely was punctured. So, let's see if I can show that on camera. Oh, I don't know where I'm at here. Right there, it's punctured, so, eh, may or not, may or may not be good. Maybe a puncture coming out of the package, who knows. Uh, next off, we have nut uh, and raisin trail mix. Doesn't look punctured. I feel like they usually have a lot more air in it than it does. I guess we'll find out. Next we have a Cajun mix. Hmm, I think I've had one of these before. I think they're actually pretty good. That's nice. Got our accessory pack, the toilet paper, spoon, pepper, salt, wet nap. Probably no matches. There we go. Next we have our FRH. Next we have mm, cinnamon bun, shelf stable. Wow, this thing's already pretty loaded up. It's good stuff. Last but not least, we have our halal banana pudding. Um, which I guess means it doesn't have any uh, pork-like gelatin. Um, because gelatin is usually made with pork or some other kind of meat and I think uh, the culture that the people who use the halal um, they can't eat that so that would be interesting to try and here's our halal uh, cherry rolled oats type deal um, so anyway uh, I'm going to get this all out into a tray, and I'll see you all then. Okay, so here we are. Um, I wanted to, well, I wanted to have coffee with this meal, but um, I know this fish pack doesn't come with it. Uh, so I, I found something for substitution, which is not coffee, but it's hot chocolate. But my good friend, Oscar Ruse, uh, who's done, been a really good contributor to this channel, um, he sent me this chocolate uh, drink powder a long time ago and I've been meaning to try it but I was like oh might as well try it now and he said it was really good so seems like a lot of powder so hopefully I have enough water but we'll see 
Uh, but I'm still gonna put the lime in and see how uh, how it dissolves, I suppose. So, considering it's been uh, open to the air and elements, and I don't know how long, but the powder doesn't look uh, doesn't look bad, but it does have a questionable smell. Got a stale smell. Mm, cleaning supplies. So that reminds me of. So it's got a really interesting green color. I think usually this stuff's like more of a yellow, in my experience. It's like a something I'd find out of a Lagoon or something. Hmm. Oh, well, I thought it'd be interesting. Let's give our lemon lime drink a taste. It smells like the typical lemon lime. Hmm, tastes like it too. Not bad. Sweet and uh, probably a little too sweet, but that's how Americans do it. Here's our drink. Wow. It actually was, is really spectacular. Hmm. Never would have guessed that. All right, so here we have, okay, so I wanna pray for this meal. Uh, just if you would like to pray with me, you can. If not, I understand. Um, dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to have this week and uh, in this day to review this uh, glorious meal that you've provided and to keep me safe and also soldiers safe that would have eaten meals similar to this. I continue to pray to be with everyone uh, who is watching this, uh, just being there to uh, be there to be there for them as a rock for them to lean on to in their darkest times. And uh, just uh, continue to be there and support through them with everything they're going through. Um, so I say this in Jesus' name. Amen. So with that being said, uh, we have our French toast, or our cinnamon toast, or cinnamon bun. But I asked my mom what this looked like. She said it looked like uh, French toast. So I also heated it up in the microwave. So I think it tastes a lot better. It already feels like it has a way better consistency in the first place. Smells like cinnamon. The consistency is very nice. I like it. Uh, yeah, that's way better heated up. Here we have our trail mix. We got almonds, peanuts, M&Ms. Uh, hazelnuts. That nut. Oh, that's also... I don't know what that is. No cashews. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's a cashew. No, it's not a cashew. All right. Oh, man.
Not bad. I feel like there might be something a little off about that. But not something super big. Here's our Cajun mix. We have pretzels. Some kind of bread thing with peanuts. And corn kernel. I really enjoy the flavor palette on that. My Cajun mix tastes really good. Here's our main. You can see there's a cherry in there. Rolled oats. Smells like artificial cherry. Not very sweet, but a very nice welcoming of uh, that almond artificial and that cherry sweetness. Here's a banana pudding. Usually I don't see banana pudding this dark of color, but I'm sure it's fine. It smells very like uh, banana pudding. It's actually really good. And the texture's uh, equally uh, compensated for. Um, it actually has an amazing taste. Very strong banana flavor. Mm. Yeah, very nice. I mean, that is, that's a good pudding right there. I'm actually uh, more than thrilled to eat the rest of this off the camera, but I won't bore you. I won't bore you guys with eating this. But uh, anyway, well, that's I really, I really do enjoy halal meals. Uh, I just feel like they're just engineered or put together just at a little more. Well, I know they're put together in a little different way, but just for the betterment of soldiers. I mean, to have like a Cajun mix in the morning. Or whenever time, whatever time you get this meal, it's just like wow, that's really interesting. But if you have the ability to heat up your cinnamon roll and your main meal, that's delicious. Um, I would be, I think it would be nice to put coffee in there. But um, maybe I might have dairy. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I have dairy. Oh, correct me if they have dairy or not. Um, if you know someone who is halal or you know the deep history behind and the meaning and uh, what they cannot eat, maybe that'll help me out. But regardless, um, I think it was a really solid meal and I am excited to eat the rest of this. So I really thank you all for uh, coming and watching and I uh, really appreciate all your support and uh, dealing with me as I have all these weird upload schedules. But uh, I'm hoping to pump some more out. So I know I say that every time, but here we are. So uh, with that being said, uh, I really appreciate you all. You guys are all doing great with everything you're doing. So just keep on looking up, keep on pushing forward. You got this. Um, thank you for your support, and I'll see you all next time.